for this application problem, it is about the air pollution. Suppose that the average measure of air pollution in Swissville is given by the formula T at T equals T squared divided by T squared plus 36, where T is the time in years measured from the year 1980. The question is how fast was the measure changing in 1988? The time change from 1980 to 1988 that gives us t equals 8. The key term how fast, how fast means the rate of change. That means we look for the rate of change of the p, which is p prime at t, where t equals 8 or p prime at 8. First, we are going to find the derivative of the p with respect to t and rewrite the denominator from the square root in the terms of the power. This one, we see the quotient. If we treat it as u over v, the u is t squared, so u prime is 2t, and the v is, which is a denominator, which is t squared plus 36 to the power 1 half, so the v prime would be, by applying the general power rule, so we have 1 half multiplied by t squared plus 36 to the power 1 half minus 1 and then multiply by the derivative of t squared plus 36, which is 2t. 2 and 2 reduce becomes t over, since the power here becomes negative 1 half, we rewrite it as the reciprocal of the positive power and the 1 half becomes the square root. We can write it as t over square root of t squared plus 36. And the derivative of the p of p prime at t follow the quotient rule as v times u prime minus u times v prime over v squared equals the v which is the um, square root of t squared plus 36 multiplied by the u prime which is 2t minus the u, which is t squared, multiplied by the v, which is t over square root of t squared plus 36, all divided by the v squared. The v is square root of t squared plus 36 squared. Now, simplify. We see the fraction for the second term all divided by the denominator square root squared, which becomes just the term t squared plus 36. So avoid making the algebra mistake. I'm going to rewrite it as 1 over t squared plus 36 multiplied by the square root of t squared plus 36 multiplied by 2t and then minus t to the third divided by square root of t squared plus 36. And then work on the terms inside of the brackets by finding the denominator. And the first expression will be multiplied by square root of t squared plus 36, both top and bottom. So we will get one over t squared plus 36 multiplied by the common denominator, which is square root of t squared plus 36, multiply both top and bottom of the first term by square root of t squared plus 36. We get t squared plus 36 multiplied by 2t minus t to the third. That will give us 1 over t squared plus 36 
2 t times t to the second, which is 2 t to the third, plus 2 t times 36, which is 72 t minus t to the third, divided by square root of t squared plus 36. And 2 t to the third minus t to the third gives us t to the third, and then plus 72 t. and divided by the product of t squared plus 36 and square root of t squared plus 36. And next, we're gonna evaluate the, the measure for the, for the change in 1988, which is finding the derivative of the p at t equals eight or in the year 1988. Since our p prime, p prime at t is p to the third minus 72 t divided by um, t squared plus 36 multiplied by square root of t squared plus 36, which is the same as the denominator raised to the power three over two, or t to the second plus 36, where the numerator remain the same as t to the third minus 72 t. As t equals eight, we replace the numerator, we replace the t with the value eight. So eight to the third minus 72, no plus sign, I'm sorry, plus sign, plus sign. T prime at 8 equals 8 to the third plus 72 times 8, all divided by 8 squared plus 36 raised to the power 3 halves. The, numerator, the denominator is 100 raised to the power 3 halves, which is the square root of 100 raised to the power 3, which is 10 to the power 3, or 1,000. The numerator 8 to the third plus 72 times 8 is 512 plus 576 and gives us the numerator 1,088 divided by denominator 1,000 or the p prime at 8 is 